Stethoscopes have been part of traditional medical care for more than 200 years, and they're entering a new era with the first FDA-approved AI-enabled stethoscope. It's known as the Steffi, and I'm talking to Niyar Hussein, who is the developer and creator of this device. Is Steffi the first AI-enabled stethoscope? Uh, yeah, we, we believe it is. Um, uh, we've obviously done a lot of um, you know, comparisons with ex existing electronic stethoscopes. I think we're, well, you know, we're, we're not just a stethoscope company in that sense. What we've built is a, um, um, at Medicine, we're a platform company. So we've built, uh, we believe in uh, the future of home, you know, diagnostics being, you know, tools that, intelligent tools that um, allow you to diagnose disease at home. So Stethi is one, it's just the first product in that series that allows, you know, empowers healthcare professionals with the ability to capture this clinical data. Um, and yeah, we, we use um, machine learning and neural networks um, to, once that data is captured, uh, it's analyzed by those AI components to deliver like more intelligent insights and deeper insights. So yeah, we, we believe it is the, the world's first AI um, uh, stethoscope. So uh, we're really, really proud to, to um, and be involved in that or hit that milestone if you like. So Niar, tell me a little bit about the Steffi and how it works. Yeah, so this is this is the device as you can see it's um, a very simple elegant looking device. Um, um, it's um, you know the important thing about this is there's no screens or no wires or no um, buttons that um, you can mistakenly press or push so it's a very very simple to use device. Um, you just push down twice on it to turn it on and push down three times to turn it off. And uh, there's nothing else you can do um, with it to, to break it. Um, so the, the, the incredible thing about this one or the um, amazing thing about this device is that um, it, it's very simple to use. We've found that health professionals you know, require very little training um, to, to use it as opposed to other devices which um, require you know, a lot of clinical experience and guidance um, to use the device. So it's very, very simple and intuitive to use. And that's what we wanted to do um, as an engineer and also as a physician myself. I know the importance of just being able to pick up a device and use it. Um, so it's very important. How much does Steffi cost? It's at $4.99. Um, and with that, you get, you get the app uh, as well on iOS and an Android. Um, and then there's also, uh, for those um, clinicians or healthcare professionals that want you know, more analytics and deeper insights, there's also the web portal, uh, which is a subscription, a monthly subscription. Tell me about Ada, the platform that you used for the AI for stuff. That's right. So, um, I'll, I'll, so basically when you, you turn on the device, um, so you two, two push downs and it turns on, and the ADA, the AI engine initializes. Um, so what happens is when you, when you record a sample, you place it on, onto your chest and you push down and turn it on. So the sensors on board listen to the heart and lung sounds um, simultaneously. Um, and that data is sent to the phone. And on the phone is where the analysis, um, our AI machine learning neural networks analyze the sound uh, and return back insights. Um, so ADA is, Ada is an AI platform that's embedded into every Steffi product, uh, from Steffi Pro to Steffi Vet, uh, Steffi EDU for students and researchers. And it basically um, does the listening for, for, for us, for, for humans, and basically analyzes the sounds in a f with, with far more accuracy. You know, the sensors can listen um, to you know, frequencies that our human ears aren't capable of. And it can also process um, cal and calculate um, um, uh, the sound in you know with far more processing power than we can and also multitask as well so this um, intelligence engine listens to the sound and also um, you know collects all the data about about the patient and the more samples of a particular patient that it listens to or captures the more intelligent it gets so it starts to learn about your individual heart sound um, say for example you record 10 samples it knows uh, it builds up basically like a, um, a biometric signature of your heart sound and lung sounds. So if, if there's a small shift in the fundamental frequency of your heart sound, it, it, it alerts us to that. So it's, it becomes more and more a step towards personalized medicine. So it's something that once you've got that initial sample, you can compare your heart sounds and lung sounds over time and see if there's any changes, which you, you can't do with existing stethoscopes. 
Nior, tell me how you worked with the Mayo Clinic and MIT to help develop the product. Yeah, um, it's it's an incredible, you know, uh, coming from Brisbane, Australia, to be able to work with you know, you know guys at the top of the field from these renowned institutes. You know, we always aspire to kind of reach out to one or two of them, but it ended up that um, um, through um, through some contacts, we were uh, introduced to the Royal Royal um, Brompton Hospital in London, where we had esteemed clinicians there, cardiologists that we. Uh, worked with, um, and again, as you mentioned, we worked uh, with Professor Sinsky at MIT, who's, you know, he he's been at MIT for over fifty years, so he's practically an institute there himself, um, and he's got some um, fantastic, uh, a fantastic network of professors who are, um, you know, experts in you know AI and machine learning and um, uh, electrical engineering and things like that. So whenever we had a problem or uh, we're looking for an, um, a workaround or something like that, we'd be able to tap into his network and. Um, just sit down, uh, you know, over, um, you know, two, three nights with some engineers on, on our laptops and, and work with them to kind of um, solve problems. Um, but, you know, while the AI and, 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 and the analysis and analytics is, you know, really compelling, uh, we knew that, you know, for, for clinicians and phys physicians to adopt this kind of technology, they'd still want to listen to the sound of the heart because it's something that they've been trained to do. Listening is still very important. Um, so we knew that, you know, um, we had to create something that was very, very, uh, you know, amplified the sound, the sound of the heart and the lungs beautifully as well. Because right now with the stethoscope, we really have to search for the heart sounds and lung sounds. Uh, what Stethi does, it amplifies the sounds uh, and it, um, we have filters on board uh, which, which shape the sound and actually um, deliver really, really um, deep and rich uh, heart and lung sounds, which makes listening to the diagnosing heart conditions very easy for connect clinicians so that was something that our cardiologists at Mayo and Cleveland Clinic and you know that said to us look it's important that you it's great that you've got all this analytics and and, and detail but you know um it's clinicians and uh, used to listening to heart sounds and they've got this um um old way of doing things that you know workflows that you can't interrupt or you shouldn't kind of disrupt in that sense so um listening uh, is still very important and we've designed something that's a, um, a great listening experience as well uh, so they were, it was great to work with those cardiologists um, to help fine tune the product and also to develop, to develop filters. So we've got special heart filters and lung filters on board that were designed by um, those cardiologists. I have one more question. Tell me, Niar, how are you using Steffi for telemedicine? Yeah, for telemedicine, it's really uh, it's really compelling. Um, so the doctor or clinician can prescribe one to the patient. The patient can take it home. Uh, like I said, it's very intuitive to use, so they can, you know, the clinician can prescribe a patient to use it three times a day, for example. So the, the patient puts it on their chest, does a 20 second sample, and immediately that sound is uh, available to the physician to listen to, uh, to look at the analytics. Um, and that's in real time as well. So really, really connected kind of experience. Uh, so for telemedicine, it's just a, a beautiful kind of um, intuitive and seamless kind of technology. Um, and you're also able to connect two stethies to each other. So the clinician in the hospital um, can connect his, his or her stethi to the patient's stethi as well. So they'll, the, um, the moment that the patient puts it on his or her heart, the physician in the hospital can see the stethi blinking uh, in sync with the patient's um, stethi. So that's, that's a kind of, you know, a little bit of the potential and capability of, the, of what these kind of connected devices can do um, in terms of um, telemedicine as well.